House Democrats just wrapped up their first day of oral arguments, making their case that President Trump tried to use the powers of his office to cheat an election and then cover it up. KCAL 9 political reporter Randy Page joins us now in studio with a look at this historic and uh, very long day, Randy. A long day, mm. uh, not quite as long as yesterday, but still eight and a half hours long to be exact. The Democrats charged with laying out the case against the president say the evidence is overwhelming. Mr. Trump abused his office and endangered our national security, all to help rig the 2020 election in his favor. And Mr. Trump just may have helped their cause a bit when he seemingly bragged about withholding evidence. Take a look. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. House managers began the presentation of their case against President Donald Trump with opening remarks from the man leading their prosecution, Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff. President Trump solicited foreign interference in our democratic elections, abusing the power of his office to seek help from abroad to improve his reelection prospects at home. And when he was caught, he used the powers of that office to obstruct the investigation into his own misconduct. At one point, Congressman Schiff focused on three days last summer. That alone is grounds for removal from office of the 45th president. It started, he said, on July 24th, the day special counsel Robert Mueller testified about his two-year investigation into Russian election interference. Did you actually totally exonerate the president? No. One day later, President Trump asked the Ukrainian president to do him a favor and investigate his campaign rival, Joe Biden. The very next day, he's on the phone, President Trump is on the phone, with a different foreign power, this time Ukraine, trying to get Ukraine to interfere in the next election. The next day, President Trump brought it up again in an overheard call with his EU ambassador. President Trump asked Sondland, so he's going to do the investigation? Those three days, Schiff argued, show the president himself was behind the scheme using millions in military aid as bait. It was also illegal. The Senate jurors were shown portions of a news conference with acting chief of staff Mick Mulvaney. To be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is funding will not flow unless the investigation into the into the Democratic server uh, happened as well. We, we do we do that all the time with foreign policy, and I have news for everybody: get over it. Should the Congress just get over it? Should the American people just come to expect that our presidents? will corruptly abuse their, their office to seek the help of a foreign power to cheat in our election. Should we just get over it? Is that what we've come to? I hope and pray that the answer is no. After today's presentation, one of the Senate jurors, Lindsey Graham, offered this reaction. They're on a crusade to destroy this man, and they don't care what they destroy in the process of trying to destroy Donald Trump. We have a great case. Before leaving the World Economic Forum in Switzerland today, President Trump said he'd love to watch his impeachment trial from inside the Senate chamber. I'd love to go. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know. I'd sort of love to sit right in the front row and stare at their corrupt faces. The president gave his own attorneys rave reviews and then unloaded on the House managers, Democrats Adam Schiff and Jerry Nadler. These two guys, these are major sleazebags. They're very dishonest people. Despite Republican efforts to block witnesses, President Trump claims he'd love to see testimony from current and former members of his administration, including former advisor John Bolton. But President Trump said national security concerns, particularly in Bolton's case, make that unlikely. He knows some of my thoughts. He knows what I think about leaders. Uh, what happens if he reveals what I think about a certain leader and it's not very positive? I don't know if we left on the best of the terms. I would say probably not. And the president said his attorneys are holding on to evidence House Democrats don't have access to. I thought our team did a very good job, but honestly, we have all the material. They don't have the material. Congressman Schiff said House managers are getting new material every day, including documents full of redactions that showed up just last night. I'm sure that if we could read under those redactions, it would be a very perfect email. But you have to ask, what is being redacted here? Then he made this plea to the half dozen or so Republican senators who may be considering a yes vote to allow new evidence and witnesses into the trial. 
we can and will prove President Trump guilty of this conduct and of obstructing the investigation into his misconduct. But you and the American people should know who else was involved in this scheme. You should want the whole truth to come out. You should want to know about every player in this sordid business. It isn't within your power to do so. House Democrats will have 16 more hours to present arguments. They're expected to resume their work tomorrow. Some observers believe if Senate Republicans shoot down any request to call witnesses or to introduce more evidence, a vote could take place by the wow. end of next week. Okay, Randy, we look forward to it. Uh